Hello everyone, today I'm going to be making a base bow tutorial. This is going to be a single pinwheel bow. You can make this as a bow on its own, just pop it on a clip as it is. But I am showing you this one as a base bow today. So you make it the same way, whether you're using it as it is or a base bow. It is one and a half inch wide ribbon or four centimeters wide or 38 millimeters wide. It don't make any difference, the extra couple of millimeters. And I have cut this piece to 30 centimeters in length or just under 12 inches in length. And that is for the particular bow that I'm making today. I needed 30 centimeters. I will tell you in each tutorial, if you're making this base bow, I will tell you the length you need to cut it at. There are two ways of making this pinwheel bow. You can make it so that there is one tail coming out from the back and one tail coming out from the front, or you can have both tails on the top of the bow. I'll show you what I mean. So to have one tail out at the back and one tail out at the front, you will take the left hand side here and fold that upwards. And then this right hand side, you will fold it over towards the front. So you've got this piece folded over towards the back, this folded towards the front, and then you can slide the ribbon. So you've got around two centimeter overlap on either end. And also note that I'm just lining up this edge just to slightly overlap the tails. I will just check the overlap. So yeah, that's two centimeters and that side is two centimetres. Once you've got it to this point, you can then fold it in half, give it a little squeeze so you can find your centre, and then you can see where to stitch across the middle. I'll just do a hand pinch for now so you can get a rough idea of what the bow will look like with the tail from the front and the back. So as you can see, you've got this tail, which is coming out from the front, and this tail is out from the back. So that just gives you a rough idea. But I'm going to make mine with both tails at the front. So I will show you how to do that. Again, we're going to fold the two ends in opposite directions, but this time we're not folding this side under, we're folding them both over the top to make this sort of S shape. You can do it the other way. If you do it this way, the, the bottom tail will be coming out to the right. But I'm doing mine this time so my bottom tail comes down to the left. And again, you want to leave a little bit of an overlap. I'm going to do around a centimetre and a half to two centimetre overlap, as long as they're even. So yeah, that is about a centimetre and a half, and that is a centimetre and a half. And once you're happy, you can use a couple of clips to hold those in place. So I've got a couple of fabric clips here. You can use hair clips. And just pop them on. So that holds it in place. And then I'm going to fold it in half give it a little squeeze. You can use a bit of heat from a lighter at this point just to mark that crease in there and then you can see where to make your stitches. So I'm going to do eight stitches now across this middle. I've got my needle here threaded with some strong thread and a knot in the end. And I'm going to make eight stitches going in through the first side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the stitches look like this. And then at this point you can remove your clips and then pull in that pinch. And then I'm just going to wrap that around that center a couple of times to keep that all in place. And then on this underside, 
I'm just going to go through catching a little bit of the ribbon and through the thread and before I pull it completely tight I'm going to go through that loose loop a couple of times and that will just form a knot to hold it all in place so I can trim off my excess thread and that is the single pin wheel with both tails coming out from the front and then from the inner edge so this will be the outer edge the outside of the bow this is the inner edge I'm going to cut diagonally up to this corner here so just cutting diagonally slightly rounded to give that tail a nice finish flip it round to do the same on the other side so from this outer edge cutting up diagonally to the other corner and then always heat seal in those raw edges with a lighter to prevent any further fraying And there you have your single pinwheel bow ready to use as it is, pop it on a clip, wrap the centre or save it to use as a base bow. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to turn on notifications. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye.